everyone. Hello to my dear little beloved family. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and support as always. I remain loyal. God richly bless us all. All right, let's dive into the reason why we are here today. Today upload is a wonderful world and I do hope you enjoy it. Watch it, drop your comment and I will be right back. Uh, the law enforcement agencies are working hard to regain confidence against the bandits so that people can go back to the land. This is very important. This is what uh, the law enforcement agents are very busy about now. The rainy season is coming. So we want people to go back to the land so that uh, uh, we can get enough food for the country and even export. And uh, we are hoping Nigerians uh, will understand the problem. Nigerians know at which stage we came, 2015, what stage we are now, both on security, both on economy. And uh, we are going by the constitution, we are doing our best. But uh, with the resources available and the manpower available to us, we are working very hard, and I think the National Assembly is cooperating very well. Um, within the resources available to us, they are uh, certainly giving us priority in our requirements, and we are doing our best. The important thing is um, the elites must make the attempt to understand the military. If we order, say, uh, weapons, and armored vehicles. It takes time for the manufacturers. It takes time when it is brought here eventually, shipped here, taken to our training institutions, training the trainers, and then sending them. To. This is a very, very long process. And uh, even if you have, if you can have contact with the retired military chaps, they will tell you the difference between the time we came and now, how much hardware we have got, how much training we have done. If you don't know, go and ask people from Borno, from Adamawa, the difference in terms of security, and without security you can't do anything. And in the south-south, our biggest surprise uh, and disappointment is... You can't hold what belongs to a child and tell him not to cry no anybody neglecting biafra is daydreaming hear me now biafra is a time bomb i am seeing the 16th country in ECOWAS. if anybody should be arrested if anyone should be arrested for dividing Nigeria, those in Astorok should be arrested. All the service chiefs, when they go for a meeting, they use Hausa language because it's what they can hear. And you tell me that we are in one country. No! If you look around now, there is nothing that shows that Igbos belong to Nigeria. There is nothing. There is nothing. That shows that Igbos belong to Nigeria. Nothing. Our people in National Assembly, their own suggestion does not hold. If we are united, why all the service chiefs? No one is from Southeast here. The federal government spent millions in importing shoes for NYSC from China or abroad. But those in our Bahia can do it. And you said we are in one country. I have been saying it. I love Nigeria. But if the center cannot hold, let all of us go. Any Igbo man against the agenda of Igbo freedom, may that person be in jail forever. I am not praying for unity again. I am praying for division. 
I am seeing the sixteenth country in ECOWAS. If Nigeria wants to divide, let it divide. Ho -ha! Oh my word. That is all about this video. Hope you do enjoy this video. Please, if you know you haven't subscribed to this beautiful channel, what are you then waiting for? Please click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. Bye-bye.